Hello. What are you doing, Megan? Why? What? What's going on here? Oh, did you shave your head? My hair is part of my identity. It's normally the way that people point me out or describe me, and I'm curious to know how much of my identity, femininity, my confidence is really actually tied in with my hair. Really, I just wonder what I'd look like bald. So today, I'm gonna find out. I got this latex bald cap. The guy said I should absolutely not do this alone, that I should really have a professional do it because I will mess it up, but I wanna do it now. If this actually does turn out really terrible, I will just bring in a makeup artist to do it tomorrow. Attempt number one is a fail. It just looks too far from actually being bald. But I think I'm just gonna bring in an actual professional tomorrow. LOL forever at the fact that I thought I could put a bald cap on alone yesterday. Um, and that's why we have Arson here with us. It turns out you can't do anything you set your mind to. Oh my god, why am I so nervous? Okay, ready? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, I'm bald. So far, I don't feel any less confident, but I also am surrounded by people who have been watching this happen. Let's go introduce bald Megan to the world. Whoa, my immediate instinct is I just want to rub your head. <laughs> I think you still look banging. I don't think it'll look as good as it does you look on like you George Foreman. Me. Nobody asked you that. <laughs> Hi. Oh my god! <laughs> Megan, what? <laughs> still can tell that you're a woman, you're still beautiful. It was just shocking to see no hair. I hate my forehead. It's probably my least favorite part of my face. But now that like my whole head is my forehead, I'm not, I don't have to be insecure about it. Without your hair, we definitely like look more closely into like your facial features. I see like your lips pop more and your eyebrows pop more and your eyes pop more and things. If I'm having a bad hair day, I feel like all of me looks bad. And if I'm having a really good hair day, then I feel great. So when you take away the thing that's sort of dictating how you should feel about how you look, I think I expected it to just all be bad. And I like how I look. Huh? Whoa! You look great. You do. You look great as a bald lady. You're so positive. You have the perfect bone structure for shape hair. <laughs> Walking back from lunch, I definitely noticed more people with lingering eyes than normal, which is fair. If I saw a cute guy that I wanted to approach, I would feel really insecure doing it like this. As a Muslim woman who observes hijab, sometimes that gets hard to um, walk around and also feel beautiful. But like as I've grown older, you find other ways to kind of express beauty and understand that concept as not something that's always physical, but it's also internal. I'm kind of hoping that when I take my hair back out at the end of the night, I'll still see myself as this feminine and beautiful with my hair down, which is kind of the opposite of what I expected here. So from the front, I'm still looking pretty normal, but then when I turn to the side, <laughs> there's <laughs> some weird gappage happening. All right, so I'm back home. Sometimes people lose all their hair and it's not their choice, whether it be alopecia or sexual trauma or chemo. Today I got to walk around because I did have a choice uh, and I'm grateful for that, but I'm curious to see how differently I'll feel when I don't have any makeup on. I think that looking at my face without my hair allows me to appreciate what I look like uh, in a way that I don't think I would have been able to do with my hair. I grew up really hating my hair. I didn't know how to take care of it and I thought that it was a mistake, but I've grown to absolutely love my hair. But it's good to know that even if it was all taken away, I don't feel any less myself. That being said, I'm ready to take this off.